So incredibly delicious. Dedicated just to self care, self centered ambition versus selfless ambition. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena. If you're new here, I'm a content creator in the Washington DC area. I create content about balancing my career as an economist, my self-love, health and wellness journey. So if you're into that sort of thing and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. But with all of that said, in today's vlog, as usual, I'm going to be completely honest with you all. I have not been having the best mental health days. As you all know, if you've been following me for a while, I deal with depression and anxiety. I actually had a therapy session this morning and my therapist reminded me that I need to force myself to incorporate more self-care into my life. So I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to kind of share that with you all. And I feel like when I share my journey with you all, it helps a lot of you to kind of feel like you're not alone. And also it makes me feel like I have our community who I know supports me and always encourages me. And I just want to say thank you. I'm really really thankful for all of you. I've always wanted to make like a really cool self-care vlog that's very inspiring and everything but I just don't feel like I'm there yet to make that type of video so this is just gonna be a very typical realistic honest vlog where I try to incorporate self-care into my day and I hope that you enjoy this kind of vlog. If you do please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite form of self-care what does self-care even mean to you and I'll respond to every single comment and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications I post new videos every Sunday Wednesday and some Fridays but as you all know I'm gonna be changing my posting schedule to two days a week very soon I just wanted it to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video which is Skillshare I'm so excited that I get to work with such an amazing organization and company that truly cares about fostering growth and learning for creatives and individuals who just truly want to hone in on any new skills or learn something new. As someone myself who loves to learn more about things that I'm passionate about that might help me discover new parts of myself. So if you don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community that offers tons of different classes about all kinds of different subjects from productivity to music, web development, entrepreneurship, freelancing. They have videos about Procreate, how to create your own thumbnails, how to edit videos on iMovie, on Final Cut Pro if you want to become a YouTuber. They truly have a class for absolutely anything and you get access to all of this with a monthly subscription. But if you're my subscriber and if you use the link down in my description, you will have access to a one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can try it out for yourself. And I honestly can't cannot recommend Skillshare enough and I'm really excited to be working with them. So if you have ever thought about trying Skillshare, if you'd like to try them, even just to see what it's all about, make sure to use the link in my description down below and get your free trial of Skillshare today. So the class that I've been taking is called The Ultimate Self-Care Playbook, Discover and Nurture Your Centered Self. I think one of the biggest things that really hit me was that I really need to be mindful.
mindful about actually planning and scheduling my self-care. I really need to be more specific and more intentional about it. And in this class taught by Jonathan Van Ness, which by the way, he's absolutely amazing if you haven't seen him. He's a New York Times best-selling author. He stars on Netflix's Queer Eye. He's just super talented. So I've been learning a lot. And one thing that he talks about is creating a planner for self-care. And there's also a section, which I think is pretty cool, where you can go down to the class and it shows project resources. So he shares a few links on here where you can, you know, buy a template for a self-care planner or get some free resources down in the links. He also has a class discussion section where kind of like created a thread and we can all chat about forms of self-care and ask questions. And I think that that's really cool. It's kind of an interactive part of Skillshare that I didn't know existed until I started really diving into these classes more and especially this class. Working on my self-care with other people who are also working on their self-care makes me feel like I'm less alone. I know that there's other people out there doing it with me and there's actually other people who've posted visual examples of their own self-care planner that they created from taking this class and I just love it because it gives you kind of like a sense of community. That's what I'm going to be working on today is kind of incorporating some of the things that were talked about in this class as forms of self-care. Some things that he mentioned in this class was to listen to ourselves, to our needs, and not feeling selfish about taking time for ourselves because it's truly the greatest investment that we can make for ourselves. And looking at it from that perspective, it really kind of opens my eyes to how much I neglect myself in a sense because I don't schedule me time to do things that make me feel good or that truly bring me joy. What I've learned from this class is how important it is to reflect on what things truly bring us joy and bring us closer to our most authentic self. And he talked about how we could either start new forms of self-care or maybe start incorporating old types of self-care that used to bring us a lot of joy and so what that made me think about was how much I used to just love and enjoy running and how throughout my entire adolescence I loved reading and so I think those are two things that I want to challenge myself with and I'm sharing it with you all so hopefully you know you can keep me accountable and I would love for you all to share your forms of self-care that you would like to incorporate and challenge yourself with so with with all of that said, today is Sunday and I actually haven't left my apartment since Thursday. So my form of self-care today that I want to incorporate and that the Skillshare class has truly inspired me to pursue once again is running. But since I am restarting my running journey, as I mentioned in my previous health vlog, I can't just go all out for like a three mile run or anything without hurting my knee. So my goal today is just to step outside, go for a walk, run, and and just get out of my apartment and have some me time to enjoy this hobby that really brings me joy. So we're gonna do that right now and who knows I might treat myself to some Starbucks or something along the way but with all that said let me put on my tennis shoes and get ready for that. I think I'm going to have some free workout even though I don't necessarily need it. I know a few of you have asked me if it's actually helpful but I do find pre-workout to be very helpful for me personally. I think it's definitely a person-by-person -person cases. Is that how you say it. It's definitely a person to person. It depends how it affects you. But for me, it definitely gives me the energy boost that I need, especially dealing with depression. My energy levels can be very low sometimes. So I'm going to take that real quick and then I'm going to head out. And I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous, but it's going to be good. Gotta put myself up now. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, I almost forgot how much I loved to dance. Truly such an endorphins boost. So I definitely feel warmed up after that. All it took was one pitbull throwback song and I am ready to go. I'm all warmed up, a little out of breath as you can hear. Wow, y'all. I truly miss dancing. Like if y'all knew me in college, middle school, high school, I loved dancing. Like it feels so good. Form of self-care number one, done. I'm gonna continue listening to some pump up music, go for a walk run, and I'll try to take a few clips on my phone. But if not, I will see you all when I get back. Before I head out and get even more sweaty, I wanted to show you all my outfit of the day. So this white zip up is from Amazon. I'm wearing my jewelry from Ana Luisa because I just wanted to look cute today as a form of self-care. Oh, and another reminder that you can start self-care at any time of the day. The clips of me making my bed today and all of that, it was not in the morning. It was like 3 p.m. when I decided to get my butt up from the couch and set aside some time for me to do something that would make me happy and make me feel good. So just a reminder, you can start your self-care whenever you feel it, okay? really truly listen to your body. That's something that I really took inspiration from, from that Skillshare class. So I'm also wearing my gifted Girlfriend Collective sports bra. It's so cute. It's in the color Globe. This is truly such a cute color. It's like a dark teal color. And then I'm wearing my favorite biker shorts. These ones are the ones that have pockets in them and they're from Bayleaf. I got them on Amazon. I'll make sure to link them down below. I actually think that they're already linked in my fitness favorites on my Amazon storefront. I also linked this hoodie there as well so make sure to check out the fitness favorite list and the clothing and accessories list on my amazon storefront but without further ado i'm about to head out for this walk slash run so wish me luck been waking up feeling low you're on my mind like all of the time but just so despicable I'm seeing what you've been sharing online And I miss your good parts Then remember that you were a thorn in my side I know I'll be fine If you stay on your side of town No, I don't wanna see you around Why don't you stay on your side of town We might be cool someday but not right now Hey friends, it is currently 5.30 p.m. I just got back from my walk slash run. I ran a good amount of time and I'm feeling pretty proud of myself. I'm also feeling very tired, so I'm very much looking forward to a nice hot shower tonight. But first I wanted to do a little grocery haul because part of my self-care was also just getting myself some groceries because I haven't bought groceries in a really long time. Usually I have the same foods for breakfast and lunch. I'll alternate like eggs or some yogurt and granola or just snacking on something and then dinners where I'll have like full on different meal. So I'm going to show you all what I got at Whole Foods on my way home from my run. So I got my favorite sourdough bread from Whole Foods. So, so, so good. Colby Jack sliced cheese. I got one of my favorites. It's the goat. <laughs> This is the cranberry orange goat cheese. Truly, this is the goat. It's so good. And I got these rosemary artisan crackers to go along with it. Love them. They're so good. And some Gouda cheese. I also got a pomegranate. This is one of my favorite fruits and I honestly love it so much. And I got a couple yerba mates. I got my favorite one. This is the one that I enjoy the most. It's the revel berry one. And I also got this one to try. It's the grapefruit ginger. I love anything grapefruit flavor honestly. I got my favorite kombucha, the Brew Doctor Super Berry. 
I got a small container of regular milk because I bought some cookies to bake and I prefer my cookies with regular milk, not oat milk or almond milk. I also got some sparkling water, some more granola. I tried this one for the first time at Whole Foods like a couple of weeks ago and I just ran out and this stuff is so good y'all. If you haven't tried this, I was a little hesitant because it was a little bit expensive, like $7, but trust me, it's worth it. So good. I got some bananas. I like that they're green because they tend to go bad too fast when you get them yellow, so I got that. And some grapes. So this is my little mini grocery haul. I just got my delivery from, I don't even know what the name of the restaurant is. And it wasn't like a Grubhub delivery or anything. David was out all day with his friend. They went for a bike ride and then they went and got food. And he asked me if I wanted anything because he was coming over. So he's putting his bike away, but he dropped off my food. I ordered this Chipotle chicken salad. Honestly, this looks really bomb. I don't know. I feel like when I actually work out and my endorphins are high, I immediately care more about what I eat, like what I put into my body nutrition wise. I don't care how many calories it has at all because I'm not trying to be on a diet or care about weight loss. I more so want to have more added nutrition. So instead of thinking about a deficit or restricting cutting out certain foods or thinking about, you know, less calories or less fat or less this and that, which is essentially what we all learn from diet culture. I'm more so thinking about how I can incorporate more. How can I add more to something to make it more nutritious? So this salad I'm pretty sure has a ton of calories. I don't know how many, but probably a ton, but it has protein, it has vegetables, and it's gonna taste good and be refreshing and satisfying. And that's honestly what I look for in my food now. Nutrition is a form of self-care. Teaching ourselves something new, like taking the Skillshare classes like I shared with you all today. That's a form of self-care. I hope that this will inspire and motivate some of you all to incorporate new ways or old ways that you enjoy of self-care into your life. But anyway, I'm gonna mix up this salad and get to eating it. Wow, y'all, I just tasted the salad and it is so incredibly delicious. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. And I tried the yerba mate. This is the grapefruit ginger flavored one. So good, oh my gosh. So refreshing, highly recommend. Not really trying to date right now Still trying to figure my own life out And I don't wanna love anybody else Till I learn how to fall in love with myself Maybe I'm insecure or maybe the world is the problem I guess I'm not really sure So how do I learn what I'm worth? just did my devotional because today during my therapy session I was talking to her about my struggles with my mental health recently and she just reminded me how passionate I was about my devotional and my relationship with God and all of that and wanting to work on it and I've kind of been neglecting it recently so I decided to do that today since the focus of today really is self-care and I truly was inspired by that Skillshare class because I feel like I've been struggling to just make myself do it and I think I just needed like a little push. I kind of made my own version of a self-care planner. So in the class, he actually shows you how to make your own. I wanted to show you all the little self-care planner that I made for this week dedicated just to self-care. And this is actually using the bullet journal that will be in my merch soon. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. I'm really loving it. It's really high quality, like it doesn't bleed through or anything. Anything I wanted to share with you all. So my three things that I want to do for self-care this week to really focus on is 
is drinking more water and taking my medications every day. That's something that I've actually been doing pretty, pretty good on, I would say for the most part, but I wanna continue doing it. So this will be a good reminder because taking your medication is a form of self-care. And my devotional, I want to really be intentional about incorporating that into my daily life. It's like such a short word that there's really no excuse not to, you know, set aside five, 10 minutes to be reminded of my relationship with him. Today, it was wild. So with the devotional, you, you always go to the date. So I went to October 3rd to read today's devotional and today's devotional was titled Godly Ambition. And you know how they say that like God works in mysterious ways and he speaks to you in different ways. I truly believe that because this was just like I said, I haven't been reading my devotionals or anything. And today I just decided to do that again. And this topic, it just resonated with me so much because I've actually been struggling so much recently with my ambition and how it looks so different now than it did in college and feeling lost in my life post-graduation and in my career and not being sure of what I wanna do next, whether it's school or what career I really want to work towards. and feeling kind of guilty about not being as ambitious as I used to be. And I actually talked about that topic today in my therapy session this morning. And then tonight, this is the topic. Come on, that's just wild. This was literally for me today. Like I needed this because today's topic is godly ambition and differentiating godly ambition versus selfish ambition. So even if you're not someone who believes in God, I feel like this word can still pertain to you because essentially it's like self centered ambition versus selfless ambition. And I think that that's something we can all learn from. I think if everyone had a selfless godly ambition, the world would just be a better place. So some examples, it kind of like lists what godly ambition is versus selfish ambition. So godly ambition is about advancing the kingdom of God, honoring others. It's loyal. It is others focused. It is being content with anonymity. That's one that got to me because I feel like we live in a world where everybody Everybody wants credit for everything that they do and they want to get glory for their achievements and I feel like if you have an ambition where you're willing to be anonymous because you're doing something truly for the greater good for others and you don't care about the credit and that really hit home for me because that's something that I've definitely struggled with in the past godly ambition longs to please God it prioritizes other people it loves other people and it thinks of the next generation mm. all of it is just so good because because again, even if you don't believe in God, I think it's just showing a selfless, loving ambition versus a self centered selfish ambition. So on the other side of what not to pursue, this is the selfish ambition, the worldly ambition. Selfish ambition is driven by the self. It's about building a personal empire. How many of y'all have seen personal empires on Instagram? Because I've definitely seen it all over the place. It competes with others. It is opportunistic. It is self-focused. Selfish ambition wants the spotlight. Selfish ambition uses others. Please is man and that means like men or women it will compromise to advance it leverages people uses people and it indulges this generation it's more so about what feels good looks good right now versus thinking long term and just thinking of ambition in that way godly versus worldly or selfless versus selfish is just mind-blowing and inspiring and profound because I think it opens my heart and my eyes eyes more to what I want to pursue for my future. It just really hit home y'all like it really it's providing me some clarity and I just want to sit with this. I've definitely been struggling with the conflicts between selfish ambition and godly ambition because the world tells me tells you to have selfish ambition. It tells you to create your own empire. It tells you to take every opportunity regardless of who it hurts. It tells you to, to focus on yourself and kind of, you know, push everyone else aside because your life is about your happiness and your happiness alone. And there's nothing wrong, I don't think, with wanting to feel happiness or joy in your life because God wants that for us as well. This is just so good, y'all. Like, I'm just going to put it here. And if you want to pause the video to check it out, please do. This is a devotional that I have that I will be reading and that I was using. So if you want to check it out, I have it linked in my 
Amazon storefront. I think out of all the times that I've used this devotional before, it has never hit me so much as today. I really enjoyed spending the day with you all and I hope that you enjoyed spending time with me in this video and if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and make sure to check out Skillshare with the link in the description. It really supports me and my relationship with them. I love Skillshare and being able to work with them and with brands that align with my values. So I would really appreciate it if you do decide to check them out to use my link down below. If you're not already, make sure to follow me on Instagram to stay up to date. And with all of that said, I am going to take a shower because I went for a run tonight. I just want to relax so that I can go to sleep early and wake up early and start editing this vlog. So with all of that said, I will see you all in the next video. When I first met you, then thought you were nothing. You were just sitting on the couch with that rejection.